we're going to look at the Learning tab in IXL. Here we have the Learning tab in IXL. It's right up here in the top left corner. And below that, we have a number of categories. We have Recommendations, which when you click on that, it will allow you and or your students to pick a certain grade. And then it will just give you lots of various questions from that grade level. There's the diagnostic tool, which you would have your students do at the beginning if you wish, where they can basically see where they are um, in their certain grade levels. So they can visit the, the diagnostic area and then they start answering questions and then it gives them an idea of where they are um, and what, and then IXL also keeps track of like where they should focus their efforts, which influences the recommendations and then they answer the questions and see how they're doing. One thing about the diagnostic test is it can take, I think it might just be an unlimited time. Like it just will continually refine and refine and refine what skills they need in math and language arts. Speaking of math and language arts, the next tab is math. These are divvied out by grades. So let's say if you're in eighth grade, you'll then have all of the It'll have all of their tasks, and as you can see, there are a lot of them. In the next video, we'll talk about how to assign these tasks. But as you can see, when you click on them, and this is what the students would see as well, um, you can click on classified triangles, and then it'll take you to a series of questions. And then up here, you'll have your questions answered, time elapsed, and their smart score. And this is what um, they'll be seeing as well. Moving on. Language arts, same, similar idea. You'll have it broken down by grade, and if you want a specific grade, you can just go to your grade, and then you can pick what you want. So compare, and then it will also, yeah, as you hover, it will also show you a preview of like some of the different skills and the questions. You can also star them as like, oh yeah, I really want to work on this with my students later. So if you don't want to find it each time, you can kind of star which ones you want. So you can click on it, and then when you're done with it, you can unclick it. Good. There's also science, which is for grades two through eight. Social studies, again, two through eight. And then there's Spanish. And then you can check out the New York State standards. And then as well as the awards um, for your students once you have them enrolled in your class. That's a quick preview of the learning tab in IXL.